Hello, welcome to RDLP. I'm your Prince of Play, Solon, and it's nighttime, and we're gonna do a nighttime mission. So, I hope you have your PJs ready. Like I've got my, I've got my little Santa skull PJs on, and they're kind of neat. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna do a nighttime, a nighttime quest in Pokemon Uranium. So, uh, when we last left off on Pokemon Uranium, we ran through all the routes. We did a whole bunch of investigation, and we kind of maybe lost a friend on the way, and then got sad and panicked and angry and put Isotope, our Tropint, who is uh, nuclear <laughs> and radiated, in their stead. I also brought everyone up to, like, their top levels. Look at this. We've got 100, 101, 100, 100 HP. Everyone gets 100 HP. Uh, and it's so neat. It's super neat. The only things that I'm- I've got a lot of worries on my mind. We'll talk about them coming up. Uh, but let's go- let's go see what's happening at night on the farm. Oh, you're a trainer, aren't you? Listen, are you interested in mysteries? I need some help and I need a trainer to do it. Uh, we said no last time. We just said bye. Yes. I have went to the city. I have seen the people and their religion-loving ways. I have been very excited for it. So now let's see what's happening in rural Pokemon land. My name's Ripley. My grandfather owns all of the fields you see around you, but he's traveling abroad and left me to manage the farm. Lately though, we've been having strange phenomena. I'll fall asleep at night and when I go out to check the fields in the morning, half my crops are bent over. Not only that, but seen from above, they're in sorts of weird, all sorts of weird shapes and patterns, and I can't figure it out at all. I think it might be aliens. This is so Americana. They, <laughs> they can't tell this story in Pokemon games because Pokemon, because Japan doesn't have these weird kinds of phenomena, but they totally should. I don't know why they haven't yet. Pokemon Uranium's doing it. I love it. I've tried staying up at night to catch them in the act, but I keep falling asleep. I know there's something out there. There's something out there. Whatever it is, it moves too fast for me to get a good picture. So what I need, that's where I need your help. I need you to sneak through the fields and find the source of the crop circles. I see a bright light on the other side of the lake. So maybe that's where they're coming from. Be careful not to let them see you though. Oh wow, we're just taken right there. Oh my god, there are UFO Pokemon! You guys! Oh! I've been spotted. I mean, I said that. They'll flee. Better try again. Oh! I straight up can't be spotted. Oh, that guy's not moving right anymore. There's not like Pokemon out there, out here, are there? Oh! I've been spotted. And they'll flee. Oh, okay, neat. Them spotting me seems to change their paths. Oh! Uh oh, my bad. There's a lot of them down. Ah, dang it. So it doesn't seem like there's any Pokemon in the tall grass, which is good. But they are definitely all over here. Ah, I got surrounded. Okay, so this is definitely like a sneaking kind of, oops. <laughs> Sneaking mission where I can I can do this over and over. That's not bad. What's it doing? What's it doing? <laughs> it's freaking out. <laughs> Worry if I get spotted too many times though. If that means that they'll like stop. Okay, so this guy goes in a big circle. And the other guy goes in like an even weirder path. Okay, what's next? Okay, I think we made it a lot of the way through. Ooh. 
Oh, that's a big one. Oh. That's the leader. It's giving them orders? Are they making crop- why are they making crop circles though? You've been spotted, but it doesn't look like it's going to flee. It's attacking! Okay. Okay, okay. It is level 35! S51A appears. That's not a Pokemon, guys! It's not- it's straight up just a UFO! It doesn't even look like a Pokemon! Batman! Batman! Um... So what is it then? Is it flying? Is it steel? I'm worried it's just gonna destroy Batman in one hit. Because Batman is not strong, unfortunately, because it's a, a, a fifth... It's a, it's a baby Pokemon. It is a... Let's try... Let's see what it does. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Not, not get too panicked yet, just because it's a high level. Uh, we do have Electro Ball now, as Batman, which changes things a little bit. It is much stronger than Thundershock, and it only works when the Pokemon is slower than... Flaffy. So if we can make the Pokemon slower than Flaffy, it does good stuff. Simple Beam, great. I'll acquire Simple. I wish I had Static. I like Static more. But I'll take Simple. Uh, so every time... This is kind of a cool combo. Every time we Cotton Spore, S51A, or whoever we fight, it halves their speed, which makes our Electro Ball stronger. And on top of that, Charge makes our Electro Ball stronger. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We've scoped him out. He's a slow poke now. I don't know what type hidden power is going to be, though, which is a problem. And I still have no idea what type this is, so... Let's put an Isotope! No, let's not put an Isotope. Let's put in Tonka. I really want to put an isotope. <laughs> I want to see him go at it. Go ham on this kid. Zen Headbutt. Ooh. Is it Psychic then? Because only Psychic Pokemon have Zen Headbutt. Um, let's try doing a Dragon Claw. Actually, let's try doing an Iron Defense, first of all, so that any attacks we take from here on don't do any damage. Yeah, 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 yeah! Hidden power is not very effective, so whatever it is, it's like ice or like grass or something. Okay, so that wasn't effective. So then maybe it's steel? It looks like a steel type. Let's try digging. <laughs> Bye! Peace out, little, little S51E. Nope, it has levitate. Of course it does. Okay. So just both of us are doing no damage to each other. And I'll just keep doing Dragon Claw. Hmm. I could kind of stall this guy out with more iron defenses, which is great. I'm just... want to try to play this safe. We've had problems in the past. But so far, it looks like we're in a good spot. I've got a whole bunch of super potions, right? Yeah. We'll put a quick super potion on Tonka. That way we're totally safe, no matter what happens, even if there's a critical hit. And we'll Dragon Claw away. We'll make this real easy on ourselves. Bye, buddy. Are you feeling your life trickle away? Iron defense. God. Gah. So it's got Levitate, it's got a Psychic Attack, it has Hidden Power, which means maybe it's a normal type? Like, uh, like Porygon Z is? Although, I mean, Hidden Power isn't necessarily a normal type attack, it's a whatever the Pokemon's IVs do. Can I throw a Pokeball at it? That's the next question. Just keep clawing through it. <laughs> Hit me with that simple beam. As simple as like, 
a worthless ability, like nothing happens or something. So it just nullifies your special ability. It's just a, it's a weird attack. It's so weird. Whoa! Okay, okay, wait. I wanna see if I can, I wanna catch that guy, I think. If I can. Oh, let's just throw a Pokeball at it. Ooh! For some reason, this Pokemon can't be caught. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine, then I'll just end it. Oh, this has been so much nicer than every other, like, boss fight Pokemon that we've fought. All right, we solved Ripley's problems. Ripley, believe it or not, but you've got aliens. I mean, it must not be a Pokemon then, right? If I can't catch it in a Pokeball. Gives me XP though. Batman grew to level 30. Nice. Yeah, Batman's speed is 37 and its main attack is based on its speed. So that's, ah! <laughs> yay! Batman, you are going to, you are going to avenge the world. You are going to take so much vengeance on all of the bad, bad Pokemon, all the other Bashons, Bashafs. Oh, good stuff. Yes! We did great, we did great. I got him all the way up to an Ampharos. And he's trying to learn Thunder Punch. Hmm, okay. Here's a problem though. Here's a big old problem. Ampharos is a spe is a special attacker, by far. It is not fast enough to use Electro Ball, yes, but its ability and Cotton Spore and Charge all together make Electro Ball really, really powerful. So I'm not so sure if Thunder Punch is necessarily what we need right now. And we, we'll talk about this, because this is a, a Flaffy, now Ampharos, I guess, is a weird Pokemon. And I want to keep using this tactic. Batman, unfortunately, you're not going to learn Thunder Punch right now. No, wait. Don't make room for Thunder Punch. Stop learning Thunder Punch. Perfect. Let's talk about Ampharos in a second. First, S51A. <laughs> Zoom! Yo. Hey, Ripley. Believe it or not, but uh, here's your problem. That's what's causing it, huh? A Pokemon, but that doesn't explain why it was attacking. It's easy, really. Whoa, it's cause I was bored. Is this your Pokemon? Who are you? Why are you attacking a farm with, what? <laughs> You've lived here your whole life, Ripley. Shouldn't you know me by now? Sheldon, can't believe you're doing this again. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? This town sucks. Everybody's so content with their boring little lives, they don't know what real excitement is. If I have to stay holed up in that gym for much longer, I'll die. Well, I don't think it's very funny. I don't actually even get the joke. And you shouldn't take it out of my granddad's farm. Well, it just show, goes to show you country people have no sense of humor. Now I know you're a lousy trainer, so it can't have been you that defeated S51A. So then who was it this kid? Solon. Hi, that's me. Solon, hmm, you must be a good trainer. S51A is my strongest Pokemon. I don't even use her to fight challengers at my gym. You're in the area, so I assume you must be here to challenge my gym, right? I'm looking forward to it. S51A, take us out of here. We beat his Pokemon that's too strong to actually be in the gym challenge. Oh, well, okay. All right, bye then. Uh, he always does this. He doesn't make it a secret that he hates this whole town, but he's stuck here out of obligation to his family. I just wish he'd leave us alone. Anyway, thanks for your help. I get it now. He had his Pokemon order the wild S51 around. Wait, y'all know that there's just a Freaking UFO Pokemon that y'all are like fine with? That's awesome! That's so cool! You did manage to catch one, didn't you? I hear they're pretty rare. If you didn't catch any, I managed to get one. 
Sweet. Uh, yeah, I'll take a free Pokemon. Yeah, let me give a let me give a, a great nickname to S fifty one. Uh, God, what do you name a like le legit alien? Oh wait, I know what I want to name it. Oh God, what is that? I gotta get my phone out so I don't mess up this this name. Okay, okay, so we just got an S51. It's, I get it, it's Area 51. I didn't even recognize that until just now. S51, Area 51, uh, it's an alien. It's a little alien and it's so cute too. Uh, I don't even know if this is like a fabricated Pokemon or something that was like made in a lab or if it was literally like a government experiment in Area 51 that there was like, oh, suddenly a Pokemon shows up. Uh, let's name it, let's name it after Robin Williams' character though. Let's name it after Mork. Mork and Mindy. Mork from work. Nope. <laughs> yes. All right. Perfect. This is gonna be Mork. I like that. Mork was transferred to Twitch's PC. No sword in box one. <laughs> All right. We made it. I don't know. I guess that went to the box. That's cool. I haven't thanked you enough for all that I've done. I'm not surprised that Sheldon was behind it at all. That man has no end to his troublemaking. What a douche. We're gonna go beat him up. Like, I'm actually more excited now that we did that to go beat a gym leader. Mm, get out of here, man. Hey, guess who got, I've got, I'm an Ampharos now. It's me, I'm the Ampharos now. <laughs> Ampharos is such a weird, goofy Pokemon. Okay, I promised to talk about this, and since we're getting into stupid wild battles, let's talk about this. Um, let's get out of here. Uh, Ampharos, Ampharos is a weird Pokemon. Its stats don't make sense. They don't add up, they don't go very high. Even Mega Ampharos is like, not good. Uh, which is weird for a mono electric type. And one of the biggest problems in this game is that Bashaf, who like, that Bashon that like fricked us up real bad, there's a reason for that. And with a lot of the Pokemon Uranium Pokemon, they have good stats, actual good numbers. And so when they go up against Pokemon that don't have good stats, because they come from older games like Ampharos, or like Marimba in our last, that who, who bit the dust, they just get the short end of the stick in this game. So I'm wondering, A, what is Mork? Psychic Steel type. Okay. Okay, that's kind of neat. That adds up real well. It also has hidden power. Sweet. Wait. Oh, no, I know I'm holding a Pokemon. I want a summary. What's it good at? It's just generally good at everything. Like, these are these are great numbers even for level 25 Pokemon. Mork has great numbers. And it evolves on top of all of that. If we look at, like, say Tonka, who doesn't evolve, um, it puts up great numbers. 76, 54, 38, 64, 74. Good speed, good attack, even with its nerfed attack. Meanwhile, a fully evolved Pokemon, third, gen, uh, third, third stage Pokemon like Ampharos, has a lot of special attack, but pretty much nothing else. Because <laughs> just very mediocre, lit, like lesser numbers on everything. And it doesn't help that my defense has one IV. Like that's that's a little thing, but it still doesn't help. Meanwhile, Flash, our Electruxo, our starter. Um, all 60s, all upper 60s, if not 70. Except for a slow speed. But even our speed is way faster than Ampharos, who's a level higher than us. It's it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. I'm most worried about Popeye, who comes from the same gen as Ampharos, second gen, and doesn't evolve, and <laughs> it just exists. Popeye just exists. He's not gonna get any faster. 
even with a, a boost in speed from its uh, its jolly nature. But it's great that it's got a jolly nature. I mean, as far as all things considered, that's pretty great for him. Um, he's a physical attacker anyway. And what else we got? We got a quick claw on him, so maybe that'll just that'll make all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got dig now, so oh right, we have glare on it. Well, we can make some stuff happen. But yeah, I'm really like where our team is at now. It might even be a better place now that Marimba is uh, retired and having a nice vacation in the box. We can get T Teddy Gligers in here now, who a was already a pretty great no evolution Pokemon, and then in like Gen 4 or something, they gave it an evolution and made it awesome. So as long as Teddy can get to whenever that point is, which I think there's a way I can get him a quick, or a, a Razor Claw to evolve him, I think that's a thing I can do. So once we figure that out, uh, Teddy Gliger will become a Teddy Gliscor, and that's cool. There's a lot of cool things coming up. And now that we have another level 25 Pokemon sitting in the box, just ready to go, it's cool. We're, we're not in a bad place right now. Except that we're in Vinoville. So, uh, if you remember last episode, Vinoville, not a great city. Kind of weird. But that is something that we will encounter next episode. We're going to go into the Vinoville gym, we're going to wreck face, and then we're just going to boogie on out of there like nothing ever happened. I figure if... Uh, we already found out that Vinaville's steel, right? And I've got Gliscor, and I've got, uh... Everyone else? It's steel. Steel's like, not a great type to be. It's very defensive, not very offensive. Uh, so... <laughs> I think things are gonna be great for us. I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried at all. This is gonna be a great gym, so I will see you next time for more Pokemon Uranium and more RDLP. And we're going to beat the fourth gym. We're going to earn our fourth gym badge and be halfway through the game. So I'll see you then.